Hello there. Good morning. And welcome to day seven. Yeah. So this is our last sea day. And we're well, headed back to Galveston. Yeah. Don't say anything. We have we've, to go back today. Wait, wait. We've had so many sea days that like, I don't know if this is counts as a sea It's our day. last one I because like we have to go home tomorrow. That's true. We, we have to go to work. On Monday. On Monday. So. so. We, we hope it arrives on time or not. We'll have to take another day off, which yeah. won't be a huge deal for me. Would kind of suck for you. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, back to the currently scheduled programming yeah. is that we're doing pretty much the exact same thing we did on the first two C days because the schedule mm -hmm. is exactly the same. Yeah. We did talk to someone last night that finds that very boring. So, mm -hmm. if you don't like routine and everything being the same every day, Princess may not be for you. Yeah. Because. But she has been on other princess cruises, so maybe the bigger line, the bigger ships are a little bit better? I don't know. For activities? We don't know yet. We'll yeah. let you know when we book one. Yeah, if we do. I think we will. I think we will. Anyway, so we're going to head to the International Cafe. That's the best, best breakfast area on the I ship. I think so. I like the little egg bites. Mm -hmm. I like all the little hot little foods down there. I think we've tried them all at this point. Mm -hmm. And then we have Zumba. And trivia. There is a cooking demonstration right after trivia mm -hmm. that I want to go to. And then line dancing. And then ballroom dancing. Oh, did we tell you guys that, like, so the cooking demonstration is going to be in the theater. Mm -hmm. um, have we told you about the, how, we don't how like the theater fluffy, seats. friendly they are? We, we think they are not at all. Mm -mm. Not even the slightest. They're very uncomfortable. They're you not know. comfortable at all. If I don't they're slightly like fluffy, it, they're really, really Well, even if you just have white hips. Mm-hmm. I don't like them. Yeah, it's, it's not... Uh, I didn't uh, go to the show last seen. night because I didn't feel like sitting in the seats. Yeah. It was a new show. We had never seen it before. We are like, yeah. Yeah. We're okay with not sitting in those seats yeah, for two mean, hours. I'm like a size large, extra large. So. I mean, if you're any bigger than that, I don't know how you could possibly sit there for 45 minutes <laughs> to an hour. We saw some individuals do it just fine, but like, just so you guys are aware. Yeah, maybe I'm just, I don't, I don't know, I hate to be like super uncomfortable like that, mm -hmm. but anyways, let's go. Hello, hello, uh, so, just so you guys are know, I left my water bottle in the, uh, I forget what it's called, in the Explorers Room Lounge last night, I was there. And I could get it. It was just tucked in a little corner. So I grabbed it. Um, but yeah, if you do lose your things, I go to where you found, uh, lost it first. See if they didn't just store it somewhere like uh, they did for mine. And if not, you can probably go to guest services. Uh, usually there's a lost and found. So you can look there and hopefully you'll find it there. Okay, now to the International Cafe. Yeah. All right, these are the egg bites I was talking about. They're really good. They're zucchini and feta. And then here's Will's plate. All right, there's Tai Chi before Zumba. So they play this video and you can come out and do your Tai Chi exercises. Bend the upper body to the right. All right, Cesar has arrived and we are getting ready to do Zumba. What's your best Zumba move? I, I don't know. I thought he was gonna do the monster. Oh, monster! Do the monster. There he goes. That's his best one. All right, guys. So we better get out there. It looks like everybody's starting to congregate. On, meander over. Yeah. So we better get a spot that's not in front of the water area because that makes Will unhappy. Oh gosh. All right. See you guys later. Look, look, that's beautiful. Okay, so now we start with the decoration. Okay, I have here some palm. Do you keep that in the fridge, little wall? No, sorry, you have to put it in the fridge for a few hours before. No, <laughs> no, when you, you have your, uh, all the ingredients which you make inside, you have already in the fridge or cold. So now, okay, if I make a, a bigger pr uh, preparation for the sample for the ship, I plate it. And then I blush it again, I go in the fridge, 
before the service start. But you at home, I guess you don't have 300 guests at home. So maybe for your five, six guests, you can play it and you can straight surf. So when we do this, how many you do for per night? 3,000? No. 2000? Oh. And the Cypicon, the Cypicon we serve in the, in the Crown Grill, yeah. I guess so 60 to 70 portions a day or no more. No, but no. you don't do one of them? No, no, no. No, you're the chef, you don't no. do. What do you want to tell me now? <laughs> well, you got people who do for you, is that right? Yes, I have. That's uh, why your jacket is always clean? I have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now he become an... He's leaving the last cross. Who cares? <laughs> Be careful, you eat not one weekend. I've been yeah. waiting six <laughs> months to do that. So then have you know? Yes. Then it have you the papaya puree? Papaya puree. Decoration, for example. You can decorate however you like. What you prefer. I for you and you serve it. <laughs> now what you can do with the shrimps. Good, there's bingo I live in. <laughs> so now we take two shrimp and bring them together. Like a couple, you see? But why you put two boys? There are two men. Look, you have the girls here. See? They don't want to stay together. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. You yeah, see? Look at that. Nice. So, let me have a little bit of decoration here. A little bit green. Don't also. touch. <laughs> I told you. I told you. So, I'm done. Let me one. have a lovely presented Salpicor of the Thailand and Papaya. Very nice. Hello. Hello there. Welcome back to Red Face Duran. Want to so, give you guys an update. Yeah. So we are getting ready to go to lunch. We're going to go to the buffet, I think, because the main dining room menu look like. Yeah. Maybe they'll have some good, like maybe they'll have fish or shrimp or something. Um. So did we tell you guys about our day so far? Yes, we went to Zumba. Mm hmm And then we went to Trivia. Yep. We didn't win. Did we did win. good this time, though. We got 18 out of 24, I believe. 24 mm -hmm. was the... Yeah, and then we went to the cooking demonstration. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed it. I, we couldn't really see the cameras yeah. on it. Weren't very well for the screens that were showing it, so that kind of stunk. Yeah, I think I need to switch to my new prescription. <laughs> no, I think it was uh, just period. It was a little bit blurry. And you couldn't really see in detail what they were doing. But they were very slapstick back and forth. They were style, funny. And uh, I enjoyed that quite a bit. Yeah, and then... We're gonna go to lunch, and then there's some activities this afternoon that we're gonna try That's to do. What we're gonna do what? Trivia. Yeah, but we're gonna do other we stuff three first. Three trivia. We're gonna try hit up three different ones. But we got other stuff first. What do we have? For, oh, we have line dancing. Yep. And we, then we have ballroom dancing, which yep. is just line dancing. Right. <laughs> so. And then we have trivia on the pool deck, mm -hmm. and then we have trivia not on the pool deck. Yeah. Then we have dinner. And then we have trivia also not on the pool deck. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what the show is tonight. So. I think it's the Impressionist tonight. So I think we'll see that oh, at okay, 9.30. Yeah, we'll just see that. Yeah, and then we're going to go to bed. Mm -hmm. we got to pack. Oh, and then we have to pack. We have to pack. But we don't have to get get outside the door or anything because we're going to take it all off with yeah, us. Yeah, he's so. going to do it. So we don't have to do that part. So yeah. we can just pack and just keep it all in the room. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I got some grilled shrimp, some chicken nuggets. I don't know what that is, but that's pasta primavera. This kind of looked like a mac and cheese thing, so I thought I'd try it. Hello there. Um, so we just got done with lunch. Um, we had some pretty good lunch. Yeah, I really like the grilled garlic shrimp. And I really like, they had a Philly cheese steak, and I was a fan of that. The I did try The beef was well, well cooked. It was I mean, big. It was, it was big. Um, it was well it done. So, so I'll show you his plate, but it was it was kind of big. I didn't, I didn't want to commit to that big of a portion. Yeah, salad was good. Mm, it was okay. It was okay. Yeah. Um, we noticed they had different dressings every day, so you may not get the dressing you like. I did bring my own dressing, but we never used. I haven't committed to being that person. I can't hide it as well in my pack pack. That's true. So like my hot sauce, I just carry around in my fanny pack. But the dressing's bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, my face is still red. Yeah. Mine too. 
We're gonna do line dancing next. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. I wonder what line dance will learn. I don't know. Take you along with, I may shoot it a little bit. I'll come back here and shoot a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you, I feel like you forgot last time. I did forget last time. Yeah, but maybe this time. All right, we're boring. I don't know what else to tell you guys. All right. So we have some disappointing news. Yeah. They canceled the live room dancing. I know, that's so sad. So we just came back to the room for a little bit and I changed mm -hmm. to something a little cooler because I had long sleeves and long pants. And it was really kind of warm on the ship. So I changed mm -hmm. into something cooler so we can go up to the pool deck and do some trivia up there. Yeah, it's our first time doing trivia on the pool deck. Yeah. So, so hopefully I'll be cool enough. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be pretty warm out there. I think the last we'll time see. we spent any time on the pool deck was Whenever we watched the, the little, Sail Away show. Oh, it's true. I they meant like previous cruise, so we haven't even done it this cruise. That's previous cruise. Yeah, we're not real big pool deck people. It's been pretty busy up there too, so. Yeah. We'll go see what it's like. Yeah. See how trivia goes. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, let's go. I don't think we showed you guys the corridors. They are pretty tiny. Yeah, they're pretty narrow. So, so like we can stand like this. And we can pre. I can get I can really close. Wall. You can touch the wall. I can too. Yeah. So that, that's how. Picture him as a cart. Yeah. Yeah, and they have multiple carts in here all the time and stuff. So like. Yeah, because they got to do the gets, job. Yeah, they have to do the job. They have to get clean supplies and everything ready for room. So. I got a virgin mojito. Yeah. It's pretty good. I think I just don't like alcohol. Well, we didn't like the alcohol that came. I don't know if it's just cheap alcohol or what, but. Did not care for that one, but our right. ones are really good. We, we gotta change for dinner, so we will see you guys later. How about once we change? Okay, we'll see you when we change. Ah, that's Hi. better. I'm just in a slightly different dress, but Will got more dressed up. Yeah. Why are you running away from me? <laughs> okay, we gotta go to trivia. Okay. Bye. Hi. Hello there. So we just got done with dinner and we ate in the main dining room for the last time. Um, I started with the classic Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. They still keep putting those weird chickpea things in it, and I don't quite understand. Uh, but you are able to pick them out. No kale this time. No kale. Um, and then for my second appetizer, I was trying the crab risotto. Um, it's on main course, but I asked for it as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. I didn't care for it. It was very salty. Yeah. It's like they use like chicken broth and then also more salt. I just think it was over salted. For my taste and then for my main course i had the prime rib and it was very good it was a very large portion though it came with a big baked potato pop over a grilled tomato green beans i couldn't i couldn't eat everything i ate all the prime rib and I then think they may have swapped yours and the gentleman who was next to us we both got prime rib and they made sure he got the small one so they probably looked at it like no his was big too he was joking like when he set it down he was like oh i got you the small one Sorry. Yeah, his My was bad. bigger than mine, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, and it was a big portion. You're really trying to get rid of them. Yeah, and then for dessert, I had the little Princess Love Boat Dream again with some vanilla ice cream because that's what I had. I don't know. There wasn't a whole lot of options. A lot of things had nuts or coconut in it, and I'm not a huge fan of nuts or coconut. Yeah. What about you? I forget what I had for my appetizer. He had a tropical fruit soup. Oh, yeah. So it was just a fruit smoothie. Mm -hmm. And they could have had it in a cup, and I could have drank it from a straw. And I had to do way, mu way more work because it was out of spoon. And then um, your second appetizer? So the second appetizer was... The spinach ravioli with pesto. Which I liked it, but... I didn't like it. It was okay. The yeah, pasta like was, was a weird texture. It was a weird texture, but the flavor was okay. I mean, I don't think it's as good as pesto I've had from home, but... Uh, it was a good creamy pesto sauce. But it was, it was good. Um, and for your main course? Main course, I had meat, uh, bacon wrap for meatloaf. It was pretty... It was, I liked the sauce more like the meatloaf. 
Now, so, what kind of meatloaf was it? Was it meat heavy? It's meat heavy. It was wrapped in bacon. Wrapped in bacon, like, it's so like with, two pieces of bacon. Mm -hmm. um, very meat heavy. Not very, not many vegetables in it. Saw some peas. Saw some corn. How do you feel about the portion size? Um. Oh. Just letting people know if they uh, could order two things or just that. You, oh, you probably just get that. Um, it was smaller, definitely smaller than the prime rib portions. Yeah, but it was all good. The, the green beans were too salty for me. I, but I know a lot of people. Mine was also too salty. I got green beans. But you like salty. Yeah, it was still too salty. It was more too salty for me. So that's really salty. Yeah. But the corn and mashed potatoes were good. So. Now for the baked potato, they only bring, only bring around sour cream. I said I don't bring anything else around. So. I did put some pepper in mine, mm -hmm. and I used some butter that was left over from the bread okay. to put in mine. And it was pretty good like that. Yeah. It was just really big. It was, you'll see in the picture. It was yes, a big, big potato. It was a lot portion. of food. So um, I would say maybe if you're going to get that, just don't even get an appetizer. Yeah. That could be the whole shebang. Yeah, since I just ate what I wanted and just left the rest because it was just, it was, it was just way too much. And then for dessert, I got the, um, baked Alaska which is not what I thought it was gonna look like it was just like a Here's scoop of ice cream now. yeah so it, it had the three flavors in it because it was Napoleon ice cream it had cake but it was usually it's a piece of cake like a whole like slice it looks like a whole slice of cake with ice cream on it uh -huh. and it was pretty much just vanilla gelato which I don't like it a lot and it was really good because I really liked the vanilla gelato but there's not much of the other flavors or cake Anyways, that's our gonna be our Sorry. last dinner on board. So, um, if you had to rank the overall main dining room experience on service and then taste of food, where how would you rank? I think the taste of food is pretty good. Um, I think it may be slightly above a royal or a carnival, but. Not really, it's just as good as for sure. Um, maybe slightly above. I think it's slightly, well, I'll get my for, opinion later, I'm sorry. Uh, for quality of food. So what would you rank it out of 10? I'm gonna rank it lower, six. Six out of 10, okay, what seven. about the service? Oh, okay, if we're just if we're talking about food, yeah, sorry. Yeah, just food and then probably service eight. separate. Okay, food's food. an eight. Service probably no, six. Okay. Um, I think the service, I think our the main wares that we usually had were new. Um, we sat on, at the five times we went, five or six times, six times we went, we went on one we side went five, times. five times. We went on the left side once and the right side the other four times. Uh -huh. And the ones that we were frequent the most were very new. I don't know if they were new and they just weren't as personable. Yeah, I think they were new. But we don't know that for sure. Yeah. That's an assumption. That's an assumption. So, yeah, they just weren't as personable. Uh, yeah. the, the first filet we got, she, they were amazing. That yeah, they were really amazing. good. I would have given that a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. But we had two other wait staffs, and I would, so for me, for the food, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And mainly what I'm deducting for is for like the complexity of the flavors. It was all pretty basic. Um, it was good quality though, and yeah. the temperatures were perfect. Yeah. The temperature it was always delivered hot when it's supposed to be hot, cold when it's supposed to be cold. So that was perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 for that. I think there could be some modernization of the menu that could yeah. come in just to like bring it up to a little bit more modern palettes. Mm -hmm. With maybe some ethnic dishes, a few things like that would improve it. Yeah, because they only had like, uh, even this Indian dishes, which just tonight. Are pretty much known for. It's only tonight. Uh huh. But I mean, that's, you know, the clientele that they're marketing towards probably don't like that. It's just something that I saw that maybe might bring in like a little bit younger crowd as well, the more exciting dishes. Yeah. Um, kind of step outside that comfort zone a little bit. And for service, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 for service. I felt like for us that the service wasn't as good as it was on other cruise lines that we've been on um, and there was a little bit where I felt like maybe some people of a different demographic were getting a slightly better service than us. Um, Say ages. Yeah I mean that happens a lot because I guess we look younger and so sometimes I don't know. I don't know but so I would say 6 out of 10 for me and then um, but yeah. 
Um, we would cruise Princess again, but yeah. we'll go over like a whole recap. But that was just like the dining, the whole dining situation. So I'm going to seven for food, a six for service. And you are? Eight for food and a six for service. Okay, so we're consistent on the service expectations. And you know, it might, it might not be fair because we just came from Celebrity where I would give the service on Celebrity like a 9.5 out of 10. I think since they are in the same market and they try to get the same. So I think that's fair. They're they, in the same they, price range. They may range. not try to get the same crowds of people, type of people on the ships, but they definitely are the same price range. Yeah. So I think it's a fair comparison. I, I think there's a lot of things. And we're just talking about the main dining room right now, yeah. but there's a lot of things that Celebrity is that Princess could improve on. But we will go do some trivia now and then we'll check back in with you guys later. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Disembarkation Day. This has been an unusual cruise. Mm -hmm. but very different than what we're used to. We had some hiccups. Yeah. We had some good times. Mm -hmm. We had some great times. Yeah. We had some sad times. Yeah, sad times, yeah. We had the gauntlet of emotions yeah. and this skirt. Um, but it was exciting because this is pretty much the last cruise line we had to try that's in like our area. Mm -hmm. um, the only other one that's left really is MSC and Virgin. Yeah. So those are the only two, but there's those don't cruise out of Galveston yet. So, so we're gonna have to get on a flight and well, MSCs maybe come to Galveston. True, they're coming maybe in a few years. Hopefully. Yeah, so maybe we'll try them and we still need to try Virgin, but... Yeah. <clears throat> um, we're going to do a whole wrap-up of what we thought in a separate video. Yeah. But right now, we're going to get off the ship. And we're going to go home. We have to go to work tomorrow. Which is really sad. Yeah, it's very, very sad. Because, like, even the worst cruise is better than being at work, mm -hmm. right? So we've got everything packed up, mm -hmm. except for you. Yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna pack you up. Um, I guess since we didn't say goodbye last night, we can do it this morning. Yeah, we talked about food though and everything. We did talk about food. Yeah, but we're gonna start heading home. So we thank you guys so much for joining us on this cruise. And um, if you'd please like and subscribe to the channel. We are trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of this year. So you guys would be part of our first 500. We'd appreciate you. And if you have any questions about Princess or anything, or anything I missed covering in the vlog down below, let us know. And like I said, we'll kind of give our full wrap up of like our total ratings. We'll probably discuss it a little bit on the way home. So yeah. we kind of have an idea and then we'll bring it to you. Maybe we'll do a full comparison video too. Yeah. Cause we find, I think we have all the ones we are going to do. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for watching and we hope you have a wonderful day.